us here in downtown Toronto on the set of A Man is a Man is a Man with actor Scott Cavallero. How did you get involved in the project? Uh, great question, Katie. Um, the writer, Brian Mifsu, lovely gentleman. He is a friend of mine. I've worked with him before on another project. He had mentioned that he had written this and he sent it my way. He said, read it. If you're interested in it, come take an audition, see what we think of you. By no means was there any nepotism or anything. He said, literally, come in for an audition. We may not like you. We don't like you. But if we like you, you'll be here. And I'm, I'm here. So he likes me. Yay! Yay! Happy birthday! <laughs> and when you first read the script, what initially drew you to it? The, the, yeah, the initial draw, I guess, would be the sort of, I guess, dare I say, Woody Allen or Wes Anderson feel. It's just very outrageous and outerworldly, but these characters are all very normal human beings living normal circumstances, or sorry, outrageous circumstances with normal lives and characteristics, maybe apart from the Latin character. <laughs> what is your favorite scene in the film? Uh, I really, really, really love the, the confrontation, which is the main body of the scene, the, the big meat of it, the AAA Alberta premium beef. I think it's hilarious. That's sort of the absolution of it, where all of our characters confront our girlfriend, the woman, and say, well, listen, you know, there's five of us, but we, we want to be autonomous. You know, which one do you want? Do you want me? Do you want him? Do you want him? I'm the white choice. I'm the black choice. I'm the, you know, all, all sorts of things like that. And I think it's just hilarity ensues at that point. So it's, it's such a great time. It's so much fun. Do you like it? Have you read the script? Yeah, I think it's brilliant. You read it? Yeah, it's well, great. Yeah, what's your favorite line? Um, my favorite line? Yeah, there's got to be one. There's like actually seven. I amazing. mean, I don't know, like, it's kind of politically incorrect, but Brian's line, I'm the white choice, is kind of ridiculous. What? Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> what is the, your best pickup line? You know, I've been asked this once before, once before in my life, and I said the exact same thing, and I'm going to continue to say it. I don't have pickup lines. Oh. I, this is going to sound so awful. But I just, I don't do it. I just sort of stand back. And maybe because I seem so unavailable, it may work. Does that make so sense? The, so the ladies come to you. I didn't say that. <laughs> Hola. She's picking up ladies as we speak. <laughs> Going for a nice walk. Beautiful day. Oops. <laughs> And could you please look to camera in character <clears throat> and tell the audience what makes you such a good catch? Lesandra music reset sandar comiga quiero ande. Sorry. I would have to say that I'm a great catch, not only because I'm tall, dark, chiseled, I have the body of an Odonis, but I also whip up a very mean carapicha. And if you don't know what that is, please look it up on the uh, Google. Great. And where is the best place to find out more information on the film online? Definitely take a look at the Facebook page, facebook.com slash a man is a man is a man awesome. times five. Or I would send Brian Mifsud an email. He loves the attention. He, he really does. BrianMifsud.com. Take a look at it. B-R-I-A-N-M-I-F-S-U-D dot C-O-M-E. Okay. It's French. Great. Thank you so much, Katie, Scott. Thank you. Congratulations and enjoy the rest of shooting the film. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats here in downtown Toronto. square or you can call it a, a puff I mean it's in a, in a puff form right now but this is let me show you how to do it mm -hmm, yeah so you you take it out and you find the middle crease this one's been uh, ran over by a transport truck as you can see the creases in there it's been it's been around for a while you find the middle and you poke it through your fingers 
And once it gets uh, you know, nice and deep down there, you sort of give it a nice little twist. Now take the loose ends and put them in the pocket and then you spread it out. Wow. Yeah, just like that. Lovely, and who taught you how to do that? Dad. Oh. Dad did. That's so sweet. Would you like to borrow it? Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. No, 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 that's the same color. <laughs>